I've always liked to make things. It's almost a transformative kind of process that takes you into a different place. I've learned after a long time in this, 20, almost 20 years blowing glass, that I have faith in the serendipitous. I literally just stumbled into glass blowing classes. I've been doing stained glass as a hobby for probably 20 years. And uh, first class, found my bliss. Knew it, first day. I'll start with ideas for a color relationship. And that inspiration can come from any place. It can come from sunsets, flowers on the side of the road. I mean, I love photos from the Hubble telescope. And then just kind of put a lot of colors out and kind of play. And what I'm using for color is frit, essentially crushed glass. But the crushed glass comes in transparent colors, opaque colors, so you can layer and mix colors like you would paint to a certain degree. So I can do that on multiple layers of glass. Start with a little bit of glass, put some color, manipulate the color. It really is about layers and color, and essentially you're working with light. So there's always that thought in my mind about how is light traveling to the piece and then reflecting back in your eye. Through that process, even if I'm not happy with the finished result, there's something about it that I like that will lead me to another piece, that will lead me to another piece. And sometimes it's just, you know, a series of seven or eight pieces before I evolve a design. I think the, the beautiful thing about this location in Monticello is when originally we wanted to open a studio, I just wanted a studio. This space was big enough and the rents are reasonable in Monticello that I was able to put a gallery in the front of the store. The fact that people can come in and see the work being made, I think gives them a much greater understanding of not just the glass blowing process, but the creative process in general. That understanding then gives a different value to that object than somebody just seeing it on a shelf in another store. Being able to do what you really love to do as a vocation is a blessing. How many people actually find that thing that they feel like they're put here on this planet to do? I'm, I'm blessed. I found that. Then I get to come to work every day and have it be my job. Have it be my job to come and make things and then people come in and tell me that what I do is beautiful and spend money and tell me that it brings them joy. It's, it's, an, incredible, it's an incredible blessing.